On today's Drinking with Johnny, I'm gonna be trying for the very first time, early times. Aged in American oak, is established 1860. It is Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey distilled in Louisville, Kentucky. Seems like a lot of bourbon comes from Kentucky. And that's where I'm from. As the first colonists to settle Kentucky realized that the territory was ideal for the production of whiskey. With its perfect mix of limestone springs and excellent corn producing soil, Kentucky was soon making whiskeys that were in demand throughout the country. For more than 150 years, people have turned to early times for a consistent high quality and smooth taste. And not to knock the company, but I've never heard of them until I moved to Japan, so... I, I don't know. Tell, tell me about it. Have you heard of them? Because... I literally only have heard of this company after I moved to Japan, so you have to tell me what you think about this. It's 40%, this is 700 milliliters. There's a pretty cheap bottle of whiskey. It's a, I'd say about $10, I forgot how much. Which brings me to a comment that I got recently from a video that I did months ago. I did like Valentine's blended scotch whiskey and some dude with like terrible spelling and grammar. Uh, obviously said that I was drinking it wrong he said something I don't remember what I said in that video but apparently he was offended by it and he's like what are you talking about it's the lightest scotch whiskey you're diluting it with ice you're drinking it wrong you're not supposed to drink it with ice which I'm just like what the fuck are you talking about what do you mean I'm not supposed to drink whiskey with ice what the fuck are you talking about that's so stupid and then he said something really condescending he's like I think you are not a whiskey drinker the fuck are you talking about? Of course I'm a whiskey drinker. I have many videos of me drinking whiskey. And it's like, what the, what the fuck does that even mean? Like, I know what he means, but like, that's the point. Like, that's fucking stupid. Like, telling somebody that they don't do something because they're not doing it the right way. And I was like, well, technically I am drinking it and you're a fucking idiot. So, I'm surprised he didn't say anything about the Coke because I'm absolutely positive that I probably mixed it. I mean, I'm surprised he would say anything about ice because I'm pretty sure in that video, I mean, I have to watch the video back. I will watch it back just to see what the fuck he's talking about, but I'm pretty sure I probably, uh, I probably mixed Coke with it too. So that would be probably more egregious to whiskey drinkers than ice. Like, are you fucking stupid? Gatekeepers, am I right? That's fucking stupid. Imagine being that kind of person. It's like, oh, you're not, you're not doing it right. The hell, I'm not doing it right. What the fuck, are you talking about? It was like, it was like a uh, an 800 and something yen bottle. So it was like eight U.S. dollars. And you're gonna bitch and complain about me using ice? I mean, you would use ice with any fucking drink. What, what kind of drink would you not put ice in? Is this new information for me? Because I, I don't think so. Going on a bit of rant here, but this, this seems to be something that I've never heard of. Don't put ice in your drink. What? I don't fucking know. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm surprised he didn't say anything about Coke. I'm sure I'll get a comment eventually like, Oh, you put Coke in your whiskey. That's so offensive. Like, dude, it's like, it's like a really cheap bottle. Who gives a fuck? It's not like it's like Yamazaki or something, so calm your shit. Alright, so let's try this out early times for the first time. Come pie. Mmm, it's really smooth. That's a uh, very easy to drink. Yeah, that's good. Uh, it's one of the better ones that I've tried so far. Of course, I can't keep track of this shit. Somebody's gonna be like, "Are you seriously, dude? You said that's one of the best you've ever tried." Yeah, I don't know, dude. Like, <laughs> seriously, like, I, there's a bunch of videos on here. Go check out my playlists. There's a bunch of fucking videos, so it's hard for me to remember what I liked and didn't like, honestly, until I've had it multiple times. I'm not good at remembering things. 
but from what I can tell, obviously I've had better and more expensive, but for something that's cheap, I'd say this is a uh, pretty decent. I'll give it a thumbs up. So yeah, that's really all I gotta say about that, but yeah, I just found that comment funny. So in order to make it more funny, I'm gonna grab a big old bottle of zero calorie coke and I'm gonna mix it with that just to piss some people off which no one's commented that yet and let's see how long have I been doing this shit over a year I've been doing this drinking with Johnny series for over a year and not once have I gotten a complaint about I've gotten a lot of comments on my videos and most of them are positive I don't think I've had any real negative comments I don't think so I really can't remember any. This is the only one I can remember. Probably because it's so recent. It happened like a, a day ago. So... But... Just in case I ever do get any comments. There's another... There's another video of me mixing coke with whiskey. So fuck you guys. <laughs> any guys complain. And if you don't complain then... Cool. We're good. Uh, yeah. Why am I doing that again? I already did that. Of course, I love that. I would not mix Coke with an expensive bottle of whiskey. I wouldn't do that. But this is not an expensive bottle of whiskey. It's very cheap. Anyways, this video's gone longer than it was anticipated because I decided to bring up that comment. Don't know why. Anyway, if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to see more videos like this, and to catch my gaming live streams. And I need to start doing more talking streams, having a topic to talk about, but it just, I don't know, it's a lot easier to just open up a gaming stream randomly and go for it. Whereas a talking video doesn't seem like anybody's really interested in that. So if anybody ever says, like, why you only do gaming streams now, what happened to, like, your normal streams? You only have yourself to blame because every time I do a talking stream, it used to give me a lot of views. People you people would show up pretty well for that, and people just stop showing up for those. So start doing the game stream. So blame yourself. <laughs> Don't blame me. I try, okay? I'm active on here every day. You got uploads, you got live streams every day. So if I stop doing a specific type of video, it's just because there wasn't enough interest in it and I'm not going to do it if no one gives a fuck. So just like I don't post on the Discord really much anymore because people don't give a fuck. So yeah, if you do give a fuck and you want to find out when I'm going to do stuff and what I'm going to do, join the Discord and check out my other social media links below. And uh, if you want to help support my drinking habit so I can try a bunch of new stuff on camera and eat different new types of foods on camera that's the key word on camera if there's things that you want to see me try then you can donate on PayPal or Patreon whichever so yeah thanks for checking out this video I will see you next time he's Johnny in Japan He's Johnny in Japan, he's the worst J-Blogger in the world. Crappy food reviews, barely any views, he's the worst J-Blogger in the world.